Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Brew Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. You know, we weren't here uh, for a week, and I really miss being here at the Red Brick House, you know. Um, <laughs> this has become a home. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, and it's funny because I look back um, a couple of well, videos from when I first started doing videos in here. And actually, I started out on that side over there with that fireplace with this indoor um, eco fuel burner. You know, it doesn't put out any fumes and things like that. So hopefully, it's safe, of course, for us to be in here breathing. And it's just amazing to see how this place has changed and as we're getting some of the stuff together you, know, you see my bookcases behind me and stuff and then we got to figure out what we're going to do with this thing here me and my wife were talking about are we going to let it look just kind of rustic and just show the different colors or are we going to paint the thing and what am i going to do with all this stuff here it's always so much stuff but the place is very very livable it's about 20 degrees outside and it's 72 right in here so we've come a long ways from where we were literally a year ago we started working on this right after the football season ended and excuse me my wife's plan was she's like look we need to bust ass on this thing before football season because once football season comes you we know you're not going to be able to work on it well we found a way around that we've been taking care of business and all that while working on this place and it's been so so rewarding and now we're kind of coming down more on the home stretch of getting this thing done and uh football season's almost over i can't believe that we're already here with week 16. week 16 my god it takes forever to get here and then when it gets here it just flies by now we all know about the eagles right now the eagles are having a hard way to go um it's so bad that i don't hear from philly 500 anymore it's been weeks mind you weeks since i've gotten an e8 text message from philly 500 with the link to a video they're imploding they are questioning everything about the franchise the coaches the players the quarterback you know they literally are now calling Jalen had what Jalen hurts I said look I almost did it I said Jalen hurts I mean Jalen Wentz they're literally calling him Jalen Wentz now that's ooh. Sorry, yesterday was a long day and then today's been kind of a long one getting up and getting down here and all that. Forgive me. I don't mean to yawn, but I try and get as much done as I can and literally work until I drop. And at some point at the end of the day, I'm yawning because I'm thinking it's after 11. You've been up since 5. Actually, I got up at 4.30 so that way I could load up these butcher blocks for my friend Allie. Also, too. Here, here's what's fun before I get into everything um I rushed home yesterday helping um Michael and uh Gina and her family move and I got in right after the Eagles scored the first touchdown and um my friend Allie was there um celebrating Tracy's belated birthday and stuff and she's an Eagle fan as you guys have seen her go fly Eagles fly and so she went to bed and went to sleep last night before the game was over. Now, I was a nice guy. I didn't wake her up to say, ha, 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 ha. No, I didn't do that last night. But I did finish off the butcher blocks because she got three big butcher blocks uh, for friends of hers for Christmas presents. So I finished them last night after the live stream, after the Eagles imploded. And... Um, because they're big, they're heavy and all that, I got up because she was leaving at 5 a.m. I got up at 4.30, so that way I could put them in a car for her. And also so I could say, hey, Allie, ha <laughs> ha, your Eagles got their ass kicked. Okay, yeah. And she was like, F you, Mark. 
the butcher blocks are beautiful, but F you. So, you know, hey, 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 you know, they do it to us when we lose, so we got to do it back to them. So, now that we're making fun of Eagle fans and all that, we need to handle our own business. We have been given an opportunity. I don't know if the Cowboys can hold on to this. We still need some more help, but it seems like the Eagles are in a charitable charitable mood these days they literally are gift wrapping and they're trying to say take it because we don't want it they're imploding that's yeah. under the sink huh uh honey if you want the, the humidifier filled up that's the easy way to do it without having to take it all apart and take it in the bathroom well put it in the closet uh, I got a Home Depot bucket so that way we put water into the humidifier and she's looking at it like, oh, hell no. I'm like, you want to be your skin moisturized or you want ashy skin? Because the walls suck it. She says she's been ashy for 58 years. So, ashy is better than an orange bucket. Okay, got it. Anyway, I digress. Um, we need to win this game against the Miami Dolphins. We need to, one, do everything in our power. The Cowboy players should understand by now, you don't want to play on the road anymore than you have to. You don't want to. That alone should be incentive to say, we need to keep the pressure on the Eagles. We need to go ahead and try and win this game and win out and get some momentum because opportunities like this don't come along every year. You know, the Eagles, who literally thought, oh, you know what, we're going to be a dynasty. You know, we got to the Super Bowl there last year. We're going back. And this time, we're not only going back, we're going to kick ass and we're going to win 50 to nothing. And now reality setting in that it's not that easy to be a good team back to back. You've seen teams that were great last year, that were playoff teams, that aren't good this year. And so that's why you've got to take care of this. We've got Jerry Jones saying, you know what? I believe in Mike McCarthy. I mean, what is he going to say? I mean, he can't, Jerry Jones can't be like Joe the fan that after one incompletions, you say trade Dak or fire Mike McCarthy because you lost one game. I don't know if you've looked around the NFL, but there's only one 11 win team. There's only one team with a better record than the Cowboys. Only one. And you just need to get into the dance and try and be in the best position you can be to win. And that's being healthy and being the highest seeds you can be. And that's what they need to be focused on. The Cowboys, they got to figure out how to stop the run or score points to make other teams one dimensional. Uh, one or the other. But we got to take care of stopping the run. Fortunately, Hankins isn't going to be out forever. I still would like to see the Cowboys. Maybe kick the tires on a Namakin Sue and see, can that guy help? Because I don't know if next year you think, well, we got a great team and we're just going to be better again next year. Well, this is the third year in a row. You're a playoff team. As bad as it was against the Bills. You'd already done enough to be a playoff team. We weren't back-to-back -back playoff teams, but once before this time. We need to do something with this, because I can't say we're going to be a playoff team next year. There's no guarantees. And so the players need to have a sense of urgency. If you're Tyron Smith, you don't know how many more years you're going to be able to play. You got to get this shit done. So we'll see tomorrow what the practice report looks like. And what's going to be key is what is Zach Martin's status? We need that guy healthy. And with that being said, my fire's going down. And I'm tired. I need to be going down to bed my damn self. Try and get some good rest and be back at it tomorrow. Mm. Another day gone. 
Remember, good people and Eagle fans, tell the people you love how much you love them. I love you, baby. Um, even if you don't love my, my bucket. Tell the people you love, you love them. Because you might not get the chance again, good people. And I love y'all. God willing, I'll see you tomorrow. And maybe tomorrow, you'll see some more changes. I love it. Did you notice, Trey? What? The doors on the cabinets? Yeah. She, uh, uh, and they get mad because we didn't notice <laughs> they got the hair done. I didn't. <laughs> but you know, you know what I'm saying? You didn't notice my hair? I got my hair done. Well, you didn't notice my doors? <laughs> okay. It's a two-way street, good people. Good night.